Welcome back to Rocket League, and today we're playing against the Cyclones. Yes, no, we're, yes, we're playing against the Cyclones. And we increase the difficulty. To pro. We're so good at this game. Yeah, we're like fucking pro. Yeah. Okay, I got the ball. Yeah, sure. God, I'm just play support. Oh then. shit! No, that guy is fucking pro. Dude. Oh crap. Okay. Um. Yeah, let's win this. Let's let's uh, let's cut this out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no. It will just say zero one when the when the yeah. real video starts. Okay. I'll just edit the one now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, put zero, zero there. there. Dude. Whoa, oh, that, that was, was too close. close. That was way too close. Jesus Christ, these guys. I think I just uh, did a su uh, suicide goal. Yes. Okay. I got it, I got it. Whoa! First touch. <laughs> <laughs> That's all that matters. Yeah. Who cares who wins? It's all about having fun. Said no one ever. Yeah. Except you, teacher. Yeah. So, speaking of teachers. Yeah. They're cool. Um, what subjects in school do you think are unnecessary? Um, the only subject I think they should be teaching at school that isn't taught is like programming. Yeah, but what, what are. I do agree, actually. Uh, but like, uh, do you think anything is unnecessary? Yeah, history. We don't need to learn from our mistakes. <laughs> no, uh, it's an interesting question. It really is. So, um, uh, if anyone's not in Sweden listening to this, uh, we're talking about Swedish schools. Yeah. So it might not apply to uh, the school system in your country. Nation. Yeah. Uh, I do. I don't think we should. I don't think religion should be separated uh, from history. Yeah. Yeah, um, they're very close. First of all, religion is not big at all when it comes to Swe in, in Sweden. Um, yeah, it's kind of like a good thing to know because there's a lot of like, yeah. That, but that's the thing. Like, um, we have re we we're taught religion in school, right? Yeah. We we're taught it like three times, really. Mm -hmm. Like once in like middle school, yeah. Like once in like high school, and like once in, uh, yeah, one in uh, like three times. One early on, like one in the middle and one late. And the the, the two other ones, mm -hmm. they're just like completely unnecessary because you're taught the exact same thing. Yeah, but it's like sometimes it's different religions. Like uh, at uh, high school, we were taught about Islam. And in uh, like uh, middle school, we were taught about uh, uh, Christianity. Yeah, I, I just think they could all be merged into history. Yeah, it's it's because probably it's not important. As long as you're aware, I think, like as long as you're aware of what they, what they all mean, I think it's fine. Yeah. I don't think we need to go into deep what everything is. Uh, actually, like overall, when it comes to school, mm -hmm. I think a lot. I think um, over time, school has become something where you are taught just a lot of things instead of just the essentials. Mm -hmm. And I, I like think that school should just be the essentials, and then leave it everything up to to the individual to uh, to learn the rest. I'm not sure if I agree, I mean... Sure, I think the easiest way to find out what is really important is probably to just rework the whole system. Yeah, and just like now, we have like Google and whatever, and if you... If, if there's something you are... you encounter that you haven't been taught, you're going yeah. to Google it and read about it on Wikipedia. Uh, and so. that's like legit, that's the place where I have learned most about things. Because school is boring and reading Wikipedia is more fun. Yeah. Because you are taught but about it's things like that you, you have want to, to be taught You have about. to reflect upon things also. It's like if you read something on Wikipedia, you probably look it up for five seconds. If you have like five fucking hours of school uh, doing it, then you'll probably need to reflect on it more. 
it's it's just also school is like a good thing it's like it's like i'm sorry it's like a good time it's like you have your friends and it's like it doesn't yeah, matter yeah of course i'm not saying school shouldn't be a thing yeah i'm saying like i think uh i think school is like on during a time usually where you don't want to be in school because you want to be on your free time you want to have fun like you you sh you should be able to enjoy your 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 childhood because you're never gonna have it again mm -hmm. um and i just think it's unnecessary to uh, to just like or let me um preface this differently like um Just, I think I'll, you just pushed so many things at the same time, mm -hmm. and I don't think I don't remember like even half of it. No. Right. So. But it's kind of also it's not about what you learn; it's kind of that you learn to learn. Yeah, and so, you, you don't need to go like fucking twenty years of school <laughs> to learn how to learn things. No, but it's still it's like it's good, I guess. Yeah, but one one subject that I totally think should go away is uh, the like third language thing, with like Ger German or fucking French or Spanish or whatever. Mm -hmm. I think that's completely necessary. I I don't agree. Really? I think it's fun. No, I mean I I sucked at the. It third could language, be like. Optional. But I'm happy I learned it. It could be like optional. Yeah, but then want. nobody's going to do it. Yeah, I know. It's like it's about forcing. But. Who? Life, childhood is about forcing ki chi have you, children to do stuff. Have everyone, everyone's done it, like, learn a third language here in Sweden forever. And no one, like, no adult that I know remembers that language. Which means it's completely unnecessary and a waste of time. Uh, my, my parents, they, like, studied uh, German. And uh, when we have been, like, to German-speaking countries, it's actually been like quite Germany. good. Like Germany or... I don't know, it was like kind of small issue in Austria also, they went on some ski trip or something. It's, it really helped, it was like a nice thing. It's, it's like, it's not bad. If we, if we can just like, make everyone learn English, and a third language is completely unnecessary. Because then you have your own language, and That's you have English. Gonna happen. Because like, language is very part, it's a very big part of culture also, so it's like, you can't even translate many things to English. It's not the same thing. So it's like a lot of things go get lost in the translation. Cool. I don't know. I yeah. I just think there's a lot of unnecessary yeah. things. Cool. Oh, it's sudden death. Uh, if there's if the ball is close to the goal, uh, yeah. it will um, extend the last second. I also think um, gym class is unnecessary. It's like... Because, okay, so look at it like this. Mm -hmm. uh, the purpose of gym class is to make sure that the kids are healthy, right? Yeah. But d just jumping around or whatever for an hour, two mm -hmm. times a week, it's not going to change that. You need to do it more often. Yeah, but it's like when you're young... It's just like you need somebody to take control of things because you can't really, you don't know these things. You don't know that you need to move around all the time or go to the gym. It's just like you go to school and everything is like figured out for you. Instead, like I think the school should just encourage you to do something on your free time. Like on your free time, that's like that's like we're very like people that do our own thing. Yeah. But it's actually a good thing that people. Because people nowadays we're not social enough. It's it's actually better I think that we sa that we gather in groups and do activities together. So it's very good for the social development of the like brain uh, in children to have like school and uh, gym classes. I think. But then, like, also I think uh, gym class is like uh, the source of like every problem. That's where like all the bullying starts that's where all the theft comes from peer pressure like all of these things come from there fear of like having to like change in front of other people mm -hmm. and i i just think never... i just think it's weird that we're forcing people you're basically forcing someone to 
change in front of someone else. Yeah, but and indeed, that should, but that's uh, that also should be... like if we don't force people to change in front of somebody else when they're younger, they'll they'll more likely be afraid of it when they're older. It's like you sh- you face your fears, and then you like become more developed as a person, kind of. Yeah, maybe. It's it's like the the fault with bullying bullying and stuff that's not really really gym class that's really just basic human nature and like trying to fit in yeah i don't know it's like i i we can agree to disagree i guess yeah i just yeah. believe in a lot more freedom yeah. that people should that basically like school should just teach the essentials and then encourage like maybe have like in uh, you have like in american schools you have mm-hmm. uh, like football and like fucking math um like the math groups or whatever mm. uh and they're like encouraging other things other activities mm. around but it's not necessary necessary so basically you have you have the the school you you have to do the essentials mm. and then they have activities around that you can join if you want to mm. and that's just that's just the way that i think school should work yeah, I guess that sounds like a cool system. And that also makes, like, okay, maybe, so I'm like, uh, whatever, like, I, I'm not going to go to fucking gym school. I don't want to do that. Mm. And then, But then, like, maybe I should try it. And then it's like, I'm doing this because I want to. I'm not yeah. doing this because I'm forced to go here. Yeah, that's important, too. Yeah. So I think maybe at that point, uh, you will be encouraged to do more things because you are, you don't have to do it. But you do it because you want to. Mm. And then maybe you have... Maybe say you go to the, like, gymnastic class, like, right? Or the gymnastics club or something. Yeah. And you say, like, oh, we did this thing. That was really fun. You should come join us. Mm. And then I come join us and maybe that's fun. More fun because I um, did it voluntarily. Yeah. At the same time, I'm a person that has been, like, not really... Uh, like, we say Swedish. I wasn't very good at Swedish subject. So um, I thought it was here. really boring. But yeah. then after years and years of like just having bad grades in Swedish, like I had a good teacher who actually taught me. And then it was like I learned. And if I had gotten to choose myself, I would probably not have chosen to like stick at it. I'd probably like, I'll do something fun But at instead. the same time, Swedish is a stupid fucking subject. Yeah. Because you're going to learn the language either way. <laughs> Yeah, it's, and it's when it comes to something like Swedish, you don't really why why we have it past uh past elementary school. Yeah, is weird because. Well, it's it's there's as different levels know, of, of as long knowledge. as you can fucking speak the language, you should yeah, be but fine. That's like that's like uh, encouraging mediocrity. It's like we actually want to be good at it. It's not like. Yes, you could say hello, you could communicate. Now you passed. <laughs> it's it's yeah. like you want to be this uh, this guy who's like I would like to have a a, a steak and uh, I am so fancy and I can write fancy words and you know it's it's Yeah. Yeah, you want um, to be illiterate or whatever it's called. So Rocket League turned into a discussion <laughs> about the Swedish school system. That's nice. <laughs> All right, so we'll see you next time. See you next time.